Oh dear. G'day guys and welcome to the channel. Today we're taking off the Amedia vest. So today we're going to be going in this $10,000 pretty brand new Arrow go-kart thanks to Lee from Vital Karting. Now I've never done proper go-karting in my life. I am a god at kart mania, but we're going in a proper thing today. Hey guys, what, what are you expecting today from me? Spin, spin, spin! <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 I think it'll be alright. Hopefully he just takes his, takes it easy and goes slow in, fast out, and doesn't end up in the gravel. <laughs> That'll so, be the worst. This is the brand new 2022 Arrow X 6.1. It's the latest cart out. They've uh, supplied it to me for the year, so I'm going to do some product testing with it. It's in our cart shootout, so if you want to have a look at that, please look in the description below. Yeah, it's a good thing. We've just tested it. Now it's Matt's turn to have a crack. This is so we did. Ow, ow, ow. Alright, cool. Here we go guys, if you can hear me. Oh my god, I'm in a go-kart! I can't believe I'm in a go-kart! Alright, let's test the brakes out. Whoa, they're good! Whoa! That is so much power! Let's just let the car roll, give it a bit of inertia. That's amazing! Whoa! The brakes are tight! Whoa! Jesus Christ! Whoa! I'm really gonna concentrate. This is so much fun! <laughs> break, break, break! Whoa! The bike just slides out! Go, go, go! Break, turn, gas! That's so quick! I can feel the wind on my tits! Break, whoa! That was a close save! This is exhausting! How the hell do professional go-karters do this? See, the bike just kicks out so easily. Slowly, exit on the speed. My ass is killing me! I can feel the vibrations in my ass! My hands are That's a proper workout. So, I know that looks so stupid out there. I was, I was screaming and shouting, but seriously, after a couple laps, my hands are destroyed. Like the amount of workout you have to put, that little bit of input and trying to hold the wheel as straight as possible is so difficult. After just those five, six laps, holy crap, that is physically draining. Is XL racing harder? Absolutely not. but I think I'm just I'm just tensing way too much and just wearing myself out so quickly but I felt quicker I felt much more confident I just want to stay out there but my body's not letting me all right let's go back <laughs> As a first time and doing three sessions, I think the main thing that I learned was how much this drains you. So I've learned quite easily that I don't have the upper body strength that I thought I had to do this. I was getting pushed and shoved around and when I was so exhausted, I just couldn't keep my body in one place. I was so distracted on how exhausted I was that I couldn't concentrate and I made quite a lot of mistakes after that. So at about six to seven laps was my limit. 
On my last run, I just calmed down as much as I could and used the main straight to relax my muscles, and that helped quite a lot to do a couple extra laps. But I was so shocked at how exhausting this actually is. So a lot of respect to you guys who do this at state level or even professional racing. This is uh, quite intense. I really hope you guys aren't cringed out from this video because I'm sorry, but that's literally how I felt in the car. It was so much fun. I've never had the opportunity to do this before, and uh, I'm so grateful to actually drive a proper go-kart on track so that's all for today leave a like and subscribe we've got some drifting coming up next so i've done go-karting for the first time properly and now i'm doing drifting for the first time properly difference is the drift car i've got is a complete shit box this is a proper thing don't forget to look at vital karting elite is an absolute legend and nicest bloke in the world thank you so much mate i'm ready for bed